Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this set of tutorials, we will be covering the second chapter of data structures guys. That is nothing but stacks and queues. Those are the two major concepts. And hashing is also one of the most important topic in this chapter guys. Okay, let us first go through stacks. Basically, stacks. I hope everyone heard this word in C++ also. Okay, let us learn it now. There's no problem even if you learn then. We'll be just revising it right now. So basically stack, once you hear the word stack, you need to remember or you need to get an idea that first in first out is the ultimate key for stack. Okay, but let us start from initial stages. Okay, the insertion and deletion takes place at one and only. That is one of the most important thing about stacks guys. Both deletion and insertion takes at a single end so let us assume this is a stack so insertion of new things and deletion of the past things takes at the same end got it so now let us assume there is a stack of books book number one two three four five one two three four five six okay we got six books right okay so there is a condition that you should not take the books from middle Okay, from middle I cannot take directly 3. There is some condition, let us assume. So, I will be taking 6, 5, 4. Then I will be having a chance to remove 3. So, this is the ultimate concept of stacks guys. So, this will be our live example for stacks. Okay, there are many applications for stacks guys. Don't worry, we will be discussing through them. Don't worry. Okay, basically the insertion, we call it as push guys. And the extraction we call it as pop. Extraction is nothing but the deletion. We call it as pop. These are the two something like keywords. Okay. Stack follows last in first out. So last in first out is nothing but whichever book or whichever thing enters into it at the last is going to come out first. That's what it says. Lee 4. Last in first out. Okay guys. I hope everyone is now 100% clear with stacks. Okay. Okay guys, clear right? So now it's your turn to practice stacks using linked list and array programs. It's really easy and basic. After our exams, if you are interested, you can just comment down below and I'll be explaining the program in detail guys. Okay. Basically, if you ask what are the applications of stacks now? Once you hear the applications of stacks, you should remember recursive programs or recursion. Wherever you see recursion, it's under stacks and some polish notations polish notations are nothing but infix to postfix expressions conversion and postfix evaluation so now i hope everyone is now clear with stacks so we shall also cover one more topic which is one of the smallest topic guys recursion so basically recursion it is defined as a function calling itself is called as recursion so it will call itself continuously then when it is going to stop it is going to stop at the position when it reaches the base condition so now the word base condition is now the question so base condition it is a termination condition termination condition is nothing but at that position it is going to stop the program and it will be coming out of the loop and continuing the rest of the program so the recursive step is nothing but we'll be also using the word recursive step so recursive step is nothing but if the program has n steps once the recursive step is done it's going to reduce it to n minus 1 further moving on at the end it will go to n minus n and then the program will be terminated so now i hope everyone now is clear with stacks and recursion so on recursion you need to learn the programs like tower of an i hope everyone knows this game this is a popular game guys when the windows has initially came most of the computers found performed with this game and conversion of infix to postfix and postfix evaluation so now i hope everyone is now clear with recursion and stacks in the next tutorial we'll be going through queues and circular queue thank you thanks for watching